Good afternoon. It's the 9th of June. Um, I'm going to cover a few issues here. I'm in Chama. Um, I've spent seven or eight nights total in Chama. It is what it is. So let me take things uh, in order. A number of people have asked about my situation with uh, having my wallet stolen. Um, first off, I want to thank the people that, uh, that came out, um, uh, especially Cougar Bait, who fronted me some money for, for meals, picking up the tab, and uh, you know, while I didn't have my cards, and, um, and the motel room, etc. So thanks to him, thanks to others who were, who were very generous and, and, and made offers as well. I um, also want to thank uh, the Rio Arriba Sheriff's Office. They've been very responsive, very helpful. Uh, the deputy uh, who's doing the investigation on this came in on his off time yesterday, and uh, we discussed the case a little bit more. So uh, still no res resolution in the sense that I don't have my wallet and my ID cards back. I do have uh, replacement um, credit cards, however. I have now ordered a new Virginia State driver's license that in the fullness of time will arrange some sort of intercept with me on the trail. Uh, military ID card is going to be a little more difficult. You actually have to go into the military base uh, to get that made. So at some point I'll get one of those uh, replaced as well. So uh, things are moving to the resolution. Uh, when I did this segment uh, between Chama via Highway 64 and Highway 17, it was a 92 mile stretch, I told myself if I didn't have uh, some notable improvement in my shin splints, I was going to uh, go home and just get off the trail, at least for, you know, however long it took to, to uh, heal up. Uh, I have noticed some improvement, and uh, I'm not really exactly sure what that is from, but many people have made suggestions from adjusting the stride, um, how, I'm, how, I'm, how I am approaching things, <clears throat> and I have noticed improvement. The left leg, which has had shin splints since before I started in the boot heel, um, is almost not really an issue anymore. The right leg, uh, which developed a few, two or three weeks ago, um, is still, you know, a little painful, but I am noting improvement. So um, I'm going to continue to press on. So Chama was the decision place, and the decision is to press on, uh, to press on. So the next leg is from Chama, uh, Highway 17, just inside the Colorado border to the next trail town, which is called Pagosa Springs. Uh, that's through the Southern San Juan Mountains. And the one after that is from Pagosa Springs to Lake City. Uh, it is my plan to stay on what is called the red route, the, the high route, the main route of the CDT. Uh, from all accounts that I've ever read and heard from, sort of one of those things not to be missed but uh, as always uh, my decisions on what you do at any given uh, point in the trail is based on conditions uh, speaking of sort of other conditions uh, way back in the boot heel the first few days um, I sustained an injury to uh, the toenail on my left big toe I think it was just a little too long and it like scraped a few times the front of the shoe and I could feel it sort of like pull back or cause some trauma anyway so uh, you know I tried to keep it as clean as I could but like in most uh, trail uh, medicine I just put a band-aid over it and kept changing the band-aid and kept it sealed down um, it was just yesterday I thought, okay, I need to take a look at it, and uh, you know, and I said to myself, okay, imagine I was in a clinic right now, and uh, you know, a nurse was taking a look at this thing. Would she say, just put a Band-Aid over it, you know, squirt some Neosporin on it, and uh, put a Band-Aid on it? Because it, I mean, like the Band-Aid that I was taking off. Um, 
in the bandage it was like green you know so there was obviously some infection going on so I thought well okay that's not really the the right answer you know I should I should pretend I'm in the clinic here and do what they would do which would be okay we need to take a look at this and if there's some sort of infection going on we need to get it thoroughly cleaned up so I'm not gonna well I'll try not to be too gross for the for the audience but if you're a little squeamish here took out a little I have a little micro it, it's like a Leatherman it has a little pliers so I pulled out the pliers just thought I'd play around with the nail and it turned out I mean the nail just like lifted off just whoosh, completely off which was which was good I mean it was the right thing absolutely it got it all cleaned out and um, so now I have no nail on my left toe and I've I've lost toenails before so it's not that big of a deal but this one yeah it was the right thing to do you know stuff was growing under there that yeah I won't dwell on that anymore um, heading up now to send some uh, gear. I've, I've received some some warmer weather, or, I'm sorry, some colder weather gear here that I didn't need in the desert that I might need in the higher mountains. Um, the average elevation, I think, in Colorado is, is over 10,000 feet. Um, so a warmer sleeping bag, full gloves, more robust rain gear, rain pants. Uh, I have, for the snow here, I have some full snow gaiters, uh, micro spikes. And so I, I have to send some things home. Um, and so I'm gonna be going to the post office here. Waiting for a, uh, a bicycle here. And here's a hike on cue. On cue. Another hiker comes in. I'll I'll just take that. You don't even have to lock it up. Sounds good. There Thank you, go. you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. What's your name? Cramps. Cramps? What's your name? Farrell. Nice to meet you, Farrell. You're going to be on YouTube. Well, your name is. Oh, really? Yeah. Cramps. Oh, the fame. Oh, the fame, yeah. <laughs> 17 views. You know, who knows? Um, so I'm, I'm going to take this bicycle here now, and I, and I do want to thank the local people here again for uh, providing this to the CDT hikers. It's just very convenient, uh, located at the visitor center because Chama is spread out like over a couple of miles. So I'm going to go uh, send those things home from the post office, and I'm going to check on uh, a guy uh, walking home that I started with uh, in the boot heel and who I heard had to backtrack back into Chama um, due to some injury. So I want to check on him, see how he's doing. Speaking of injuries, <laughs> uh, I heard there's another group that went out today from Chama, made it, you know, X number of miles up and uh, is now coming back in. And a third report of someone who today had to be airlifted out via helicopter from the area between um, Pagosa, uh, from uh, Chama to Pagosa Springs. So uh, people are sustaining injuries on there, um, you know, walking in the snow, post holing. Um, maybe I, I heard one of these was related to a glissade uh, that, you know, ended up sort of like being out of control. Um, so I, I think people think glissading is like uh, sledding, you know, Woo -hoo -hoo! and uh, it can be very dangerous. Uh, you know, you got to know where you're going and you got to know if the support, if the snow is going to support you with <laughs> the entire length of your run and that kind of thing, that you're not, you know, going over a void that you're going to fall through. So, um, yeah, uh, getting some chores done and my plan now is to head out tomorrow, tomorrow morning as soon as I get out. extra days here in, in Chama I am sure have had nothing but a beneficial effect on my shin splints and just sort of general health and you know skin tone and things like that and uh, yeah you know, some extra days in town not all bad so hoping you're have a having a not all bad day too
Okay, a, a quick update. Uh, I did go downtown and I found uh, Walking Home and uh, he's in fact uh, doing much better. He is uh, gonna take a few days off, wait for a knee brace to be sent to him, but he said he's basically walking around town uh, without pain and without any apparent severe in, uh, injury. Um, on the way back, uh, I ran into Diesel, strong hiker, very strong hiker. Uh, hiked 15 miles up, uh, too much water, too much snow. He said it was like uh, the Gila River with snow drifts. So uh, he hiked 15 miles back out and is now back in town again. So my plan is to go out tomorrow and to see what I can see and uh, try to make some progress.